So we're going to be adding some complexity to our PNIDs. Uh, we're going to be adding some things to our lines, uh, like reducers and valves, and uh, also look at how the software manages, um, you know, that data. Um, so remember uh, to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're continuously growing the channel, uh, and I uh, hope you enjoying these videos. So we started uh, with our PNIDs uh, originally with uh, one pump, one exchanger. We've added two pumps. Uh, still only have one exchanger, but we've got two pumps. Uh, and we've got new lines coming off those pumps. And so I wanted to kind of look over some things. So we got this line coming in uh, to the page, uh, line number 1000. Uh, we got a branch going to our redundant pump. Uh, and we don't have a line number here. So if we click on this one and go to our properties and go to uh, our tag, and so let's assign uh, the next number, 1001, okay? Uh, it's already got a number uh, annotation, so we don't need that. So we're going to hit assign, and it's going to come up and it's going to say, hey, no two schematic line number groups can have the same tag please make sure this tag is unique. So basically the way that we have our project set up right now is that this number, uh, this line number that's coming from the pipeline group is our unique identifier. And so it's gonna say, hey, this number is already being used in this project. Please select another one. It just helps you prevent from accidentally uh, having two line numbers, um, you know, with the same number in the project. That wouldn't make any sense. So we're going to give it a new number. Okay, we're going to hit OK. Uh, let's go 1002. Oh, uh, we went 203. So we're, we're going to change that. that. That was just a typo on my end. So we're going to say 2, enter, same thing. So we're going to have to go to the next one. Uh, try that one. Okay, what you know, 1003 worked. Um, so we're going to have to do the same thing to this one right here. We're going to change this one. Uh, annotate, no, assign tag. We're going to give this one a three inch PS CS150 and 1004 okay we're going to sign our tag okay so there's our tag so we got all of our line numbers assigned now that's the reason it's always good to go ahead and round everything in order so that way your line numbers are consistent across so now we got 1004 feeding into 1001 is it optimal no but sometimes they decide to add an extra pump in there and well there's nothing you can do about it so um our main line numbers are following order we're just adding some extra ones in there okay so uh one thing that you can probably tell about this pump is that we have no reducer. Um, and so we're going to change that. So we're going to say we're going to add a reducer here. Go back to our tool palettes, go to fittings, and pipe fittings, uh, there's our reducers. Okay. You got a concentric reducer and you got a eccentric reducer. So we're going to click on eccentric. Okay. And we're going to select right there. And now you see that it's 4x4. Four four, okay. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you have a 4x4 four four reducer? Uh, so we're going to click on this segment. Okay. A reducer is a line segment breaker. Okay. And it allows you to make changes to one side without affecting the other side. So we're going to click on that one. And we're going to change our size. And you see that our size on our tool palette, or our properties, 
is grayed out or is locked. That little lightning bolt basically means, hey, this is getting its information from someplace else. You can't change it. Well, actually you can. And so if we click right here, we're going to say override. Okay. And we're going to make this change to this segment to a three inch. Now, when we did that, you will notice that the reducer has now become a four by three. Okay. And so you're probably wondering why we had to override that. Well, mainly because if we do a uh, annotation here, we're going to say a pipeline tag and we're going to come up. You can see that that pipeline tag is four inch. Okay, so it still kept this number. Okay, if we had the segment controlling the naming convention here, this tag, then it would be a 3 inch PS CS150 1003. Uh, we don't want that. You know, um, yes, typically if a line changes size, you'll want to have a new line number. But in this case, it's just reducing to go into the pump to get the pump more pressure. There's no reason to create a new line number. So by you know setting it to having it locked to the pipeline group, that, that tag stays the same. So we're going to delete that one right there. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing up here. We're going to put a reducer. Try to line everything up if you can. Uh, that way it looks good. Uh, we're going to come over here to assign. And we're going to say override. And we're going to change that to 3 inch. Okay. Again, now it changes that reducer to a 4x3. Now, same thing can be said about um, our spec. So let's say we have a spec break here. We're going to put in okay, a segment breaker here. And we're going to snap to right there. Now you see that it says CS150, CS150. Okay. So we're going to come right here on this side of the CS150 uh, of the segment breaker and you can see there's a little dot right here so this spec break basically is a segment breaker and so if we go over here and come over here and go to our spec you can see again it's being controlled by the pipeline group we need to overwrite that for this segment so we're going to sit override mode click on this one and we're going to say we're going to change this to CS 300 then you will see that the sp the spec break is changed from CS 300 to CS 150 at this spot um, now you could put a pair of flanges in there which I probably would do uh, or something to denote hey there should be something here to make that break but for this demonstration purpose, I just wanted to show you that. Okay. Now, um, the last thing I want to show you is our valves. Okay. So we're going to place in our valve. And we're going to put in a, a block valve right here. And you can see that it automatically inherited the line size. And this... Uh, AH0004 okay now let me show you something let me go ahead and place another line uh, another uh, valve in here you can see that it automatically went up to the next number okay uh, so these are out of the box default it's basically numbering these per the you know it, it's increasing that number and so, again, you can overwrite this if you wanted to start out this one as, you know, 100. We're going to assign that. 
And then this one's going to be 101. Okay. Now this can be controlled. And so if you come over to your project manager, right click on 1000 drawing and come down to drawing autogen properties. Okay. So we're going to click on that one. Okay. Last valve used. And say that's one. So if you click on that valve, you'll see again more information in here. Uh, the description, manufacturing, modeling number. Um, you know what the status is if it's new. Um, and again, it's inheriting it the the line size from the line number uh, or the line it's attached to. That automatic comes in. Uh, we're saying that hey we're inheriting the spec also uh, here's the number here's the code that can be changed um, you can see what normally open normally close car seal open car seal close um, what's our failure um, you know normally closed you know whatever uh, our in connections those are undefined uh, so you can tell it that I want to show the flanged in here and so it'll add flanges in there now typically we don't want to have two valves back to back I mean you could do a double block and bleed uh, but in this simple uh, fashion I really wouldn't worry about it so now this valve is I would say in the wrong location so let's go ahead and move it so if you click on it and there's a little dot right in the middle of this valve you click on that come over here And we're going to pick that line right there. You can see that it moves it, it rotates it, and it puts it in the right, you know, right orientation. And now if you click on it, it says, you know, nothing's really changed. You can add other information in here, like what line it's associated with. Um, you know, if that helps you uh, or your team out. But... Um, so yeah, so that's vowels. Uh, we've got more information on those. If we have, um, if we want to change this valve, if we uh, click right here, there's an arrowhead or a little arrow right here. So if you click on that, you can change the valves, um, you know, for different valve types. You know, we'll change that to a check valve. Uh, check valve uh, you can see that there's an arrow if you click on that you can you know flip the flow um, you know let's go back to you know a gate valve here um, so that way we're consistent so yeah that's valves um, we did not get into control valves I would say that's more on the instrumentation side and we'll get that uh, in a in a later video um, but yeah, if there's anything you you would like to see or uh, me to cover or if I, you think I missed something, please uh, let me know in the comments below. And also remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it helps us grow the channel. And until next time.